Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I want to show you how you can do backlinking using Evernote. Now there are two ways of doing this, one of which is to use tags, but there is another way which you can use to backlink. Now I want to point out right at this very moment in time, you are not going to get one of those beautifully organized charts or thingy-majiggies that Obsidian will give you because that's not what Evernote does. That's what Obsidian does. And if you want a, a notes app that's going to give you this beautiful chart to show you how all your notes are connected to one another, then Evernote is not the one for you. But if you do like the idea of notes being backlinked to one another, then here is a wonderful way of being able to do it in Evernote. It's not quite as intuitive or as sophisticated as other apps, but it does work. And that's really what really matters is it does work. Okay, now before we go any further, I would just like to show to say, if you do get any value from this video, please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Evernote, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my Evernote account now and I will show you how you can do backlinking in Evernote. Okay, so I have a confession to make. I've been playing around with Obsidian for about a week and I have been quite impressed with the way that backlinks work inside Obsidian. But as I was using it, I realized that, wait a minute, all these backlinks and all these quick features to be able to add a backlink, if you like, all these things actually are really available in Evernote, but we just call them something else. For instance, one of the things that I've always used quite extensively in Evernote is the tagging. And this mind map, if you like, this map of all my notes just really doesn't do anything for me. I was looking at it. I was trying to understand it. I was trying to think, does this really help me? And I thought, well, no, not really, because if I'm wanting to find a series of notes that are connected together, all I need to do is do Evernote search. I mean, Evernote search has been fantastic for years. So, you know, we've got all these things in here right now. And what I'm doing is I'm going to show you how to do all this backlinking and connecting notes together using my James Bond samples right here. Now, the first thing I would like to show you is if I really want to find anything that I've got connect in Evernote related to James Bond, I can just do on a Mac, it's Command J and I get my little switch tool, but really it's a search, and I can just type in James Bond, like that. Now, as you can see right now, I get all the things that I have in Evernote related to James Bond. I can have James Bond films, James Bond books, James, whatever. I mean, I've got pretty much a, everything related to James Bond right in there. But let's just say that I want to refine this search a little bit. I want to find anything related to Sean Connery. So I'm just going to type in Sean Connery and I've got, sure enough, I can do click on here and I get my article related to Sean Connery. But let's just say I want everything related to Sean Connery. Well, I can just go up to search right here and I can type in Sean Connery and it's going to find there. I'm just going to do it from this search here and it's going to find all my notes related to Sean Connery. And what it does is it highlights everything right there. So I was thinking, why do I need to be able to learn Markdown and learn Obsidian or Rome Research's syntax for adding these backlinks? I've already got them. They're built into Evernote. But more importantly, there are other ways that I can do this. So now I've got all these notes. These are all related to Sean Connery. I just want to double check this one because there, if I can find it, well, Sean Connery is mentioned there. So what I can do is now I've done this search, I can connect all of these. I can just uh, command A, which selects all three. Go down to here where it says three notes selected and add a tag. I'm going to tag this. Um, I'm going to call this Sean Connery. So all three notes now will be um, titled Sean Connery. 
I can save that and that's in there now. So I have my tag and let's just go back to my inbox. So these are all my, whatever I just collected. I know there's some Sean Connery ones there. Now I can do my command J, I can type in Sean and there you go. I've got my tag. All my notes related to Sean Connery are right here. Now, okay, I don't have this beautiful map that looks really impressive, but I have access to all my notes right there in that middle column. So I was thinking, do I really need to change, take all my 12,000 notes that I have in Evernote and move them to Roan Research or Obsidian because of this backlinking? And then I was thinking, well, this is great. But let's say another one now. I'm looking for a cardigan that I saw in Quantum. It's one of my favorite cardigans, if you like. So I know it's in Quantum of Solace. So I'm going to type in Quantum and I'm just going to hit return on there and there's nothing I've got to remove the Sean Connery sorry I've got to remove the Sean Connery type in there you go so I've got my quantum has come up right here now I know that this cardigan is related from quantum of solace it's the only one so what I can do now is these two articles here which are related to that particular cardigan again I can now create a tag so I'm just going to go in there I'm going to create a new tag saying uh, quantum uh, I've got to be able to spell it. Quantum cardigan. Like that. I'm going to create that tag. And now I have that connected to all those notes related to this particular cardigan. I mean, did that take me very long? Probably, what, 30 seconds to do that? By the way, while I'm here, I just want to show you something. This, is, this here is clipped directly from YouTube, and I can go straight to the YouTube video there. If I click on this, it will open up the YouTube web browser. If I want to actually put the, the video in here, what you can do, I'm just going to go and click on this a minute and get the three dots. I can show this as convert to link. So I've just saved the link right there. But if I go up here and then go back to the three notes, we're going to go back to the three dots here and I'm going to convert to preview. I can actually play that video inside my Evernote, which I think is fantastic. So there you go. That's just a quick tip for you, not related to backlinking. Now, let's just say that this particular uh, note here, I want to connect it directly to this note here because this note gives me images and it gives me uh, a website that I actually uh, saved. So what I can do is I can go in here now because I want to connect this. I'm going to go to the three dots on the top right I'm going to say, copy the internal link, copy app link. And also I'm, what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to go to, just type in here, refer to this video. And all I have to do now is just highlight that and do command K and paste. And that note now is a clickable link. It's a back link, exactly as you would really get it. I can just click on that and it will take me directly back to that video. And I can do the same here. So for example, I can actually cross link this. Again, I know this isn't as elegant as Obsidian or probably Rome Research, but again, I can actually just add in here, like refer to this article. And again, I'm just gonna go in there. I'm gonna do Command K. I'm just going to go up. And I'm just going to add the link there. So now I've got these two notes connected together. But also I can add, I've got the quantum tag right there. And let's just say, as I'm going down here, these have all got Sean Connery in. But let's just say on this one, I want to add the tag. Now, you don't actually have to go clicking. If you just do command and then colon, you can get straight there. So I can type in Sean Connery. Uh, return, I can add in Daniel Craig, return, and I can add in whatever I really want. I've <laughs> I've already, I've spelt that wrong. So then can we go in there and we can remove that tag and I can just basically, I can add whatever tags I want. So you get the idea. So really when it comes to backlinking and cross-referencing your notes, you already have that power in Evernote. You don't need to go out and change all your note-taking apps. Now, if you do like having that visualization, that mapping, 
then yeah, Evernote's not going to give you that. And that's fine. If that's what you like, then by all means, go and use Obsidian. But to be honest, when I've been playing around with Obsidian, I was just thinking, why? This is, there is no compelling reason for me to actually move my notes over to Obsidian just because I get that map. I have all the tools I need in Evernote to be able to cross link, cross back, back link and get back to all my related notes. And the power of Evernote search gives you that functionality. And if you are thinking about, oh, this is the latest thing, I need to be on top of the latest thing, then before you do make that commitment to move out of Evernote, remember Evernote gives you this functionality. Now, there is something else which came into Evernote very recently. In the home screens, we now have filtered notes. So I can actually set up a filter. And in here, I can type in keywords. So I can type in James Bond right here, and that's gonna be my keyword, and I'm just gonna go done. Now, I've just tested this, but what, what you'll notice now is all the things related to James Bond, all my notes related to James Bond, are right there. And if I want to get quick access, I can tap on that, and it will give me all my notes related to James Bond right there. You know, so if I'm working on a project, right from my home screen, I can actually give myself <laughs> direct access to anything that I particularly want to be searching or anything I'm working on right now. Evernote gives you that functionality using the search. The other thing I should point out is when you do create a search, and I'm just going to type in, again, I'm going to type in quantum here. Um, oops, I'm going to type cool. Right, so I'm going to go quantum cut, cardigan from quantum, because I know I've got them there. Now, from in here, whoops, I'll just... Uh, uh, I can now save that search. So where do I want to save it? So I'm going to say cardigan, a very weird one. Uh, and I'm going to add that saved search to my shortcuts because it's a project I'm working on right now. Boom, it's right there. So now I've set up myself what's called a smart filter. So essentially anything now that I have that has got the word cardigan in it, it's going to come up in these search results automatically. I don't have to add all this syntax in order to connect the two notes or more notes together. So there you go. Before you go off searching for something that's going to give you backlinking and all the other ways of connecting notes, remember Evernote has had these function, this functionality for years and you are able to create it. Maybe creating these direct backlinks like I did here, Maybe that's not quite as elegant, but it takes, what, 10 seconds just to do it? And if I'm working on a project and I want to connect notes together, it's not difficult to do that. So that's something I just wanted to put out there. For those of you thinking, oh, I need to be involved in backlinking, Evernote gives you the same functionality. We just don't call it backlinking. We call it search. Or we, call, you know, we can just... Search for whatever you're looking for and the power of Evernote search will give you what you need. Hopefully that's given you, opened your eyes to the potential of the wonderful Evernote. And thank you so much for watching this video. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.